Press TV. In the U.S., a 20-year-old woman has been left in a coma after being tased by a Florida police officer while handcuffed. Doctors say the woman was left brain dead during the incident and will likely never wake up. Footage from a police cruiser dashboard camera shows the officer firing the taser's electric probes into her back. She then spins, falls backwards and hits her head on the ground. The Florida Highway Police say the officer was trying to prevent the woman from fleeing and has cleared the officer of any wrongdoing. Experts have, however, slammed the policeman's use of the taser, saying he would have easily been able to apprehend her. Amnesty International says hundreds of Americans have been killed in taser attacks by police. Well, from Washington, we're joined by Ty Barry. Welcome to the program. Uh, first of all, I mean, according to reports, at least 500 people, if I'm not mistaken, have been killed uh, due to the use of these uh, weapons uh, like taser guns. I mean, uh, to what extent can these weapons be used? Well, um, these, these weapons are supposed to be non-lethal, and that's what they were originally meant for, to uh, stop someone and uh, not kill them. Well, it's, it's become quite obvious that the police now are using them as weapons. And as we saw in Oakland with Oscar Grant, the police pretended like they actually were pulling out their taser gun when they actually pulled out a real gun and shot a man in the head. This has gone on far too long. We saw in the video of the one young woman that's now brain dead in Florida that she was a few feet away from a policeman who could have easily... Uh, waited, used non-lethal force, and could have easily apprehended that, that, that person that was running. We don't even know why she was running. The, state, the, the, the problem is the United States is becoming more and more like a police state, and we need to put an end to this police violence every single day on our streets. And, of course, is there an authoritative body uh, overseeing how these weapons are used, how legally they are used? Well, there should be, but there isn't. And the fact, mere fact of the matter is that there is also the police are so protected under the present system that we have that a policeman could literally, like in Oakland, shoot a man in the head right point-blank range and never serve a day in prison. Today we are seeing that this country is becoming more and more repressive. There's more people in jail, more people in prisons in the United States than there are even in China, which we're calling a human rights violator. The problem is, is that we don't get the facts correct in this United States. In the United States, our police are killing us, killing the people every single day. And of course, uh, the unnecessary use of these weapons in many cases, I mean, how has this somehow altered the image of the police in the hearts and minds of American citizens? I mean, the fact that the police should be there to protect the people instead of, uh, well, what we're seeing uh, happen to that girl there. Well, the, uh, I, I should get back to the fact I didn't really answer your last question. There is no body, any particular body, that, that is overseeing the violence in our police force every day. But yes, the police are there to protect us. That's their job. But it's turned into a more of, as I am an occupier, these police seem to be the private police force of the 1%. They try and uh, curtail the motions of people every single day in our cities of where we can and cannot go to. And it's getting more and more repressive and more and more violent on the police side. Indeed. All right, we'll leave it there. Many thanks sir, to uh, Ty Barry with Coping from Washington. Thanks for your time there, sir. Moving on now, the world's leading oil.